right, we've got a Tootsie Toy here. This is a Tootsie Toy Jaguar. Uh, pretty casting. Nice old toy. I love these these old toys. Uh, all these Tootsie Toys, well, not all of them, but most of these came with a single uh, opaque paint job. Very little, if no details to them. But the casting is always super great, and I always want to do something extra with it. So I was thinking, what would it look like if a Tootsie Toy had a Hot Wheels Spectra, Spectra Flame paint job on it. So a Spectra Flame paint job is something like this. It's where you have a, a zinc plating and then you it's a transparent uh, paint that goes over top of it so the uh, reflection from underneath the zinc plating shows through and it's all shiny and beautiful. It's really a beautiful paint job and I thought it would be fun to try and do that on one of these Tootsie Toys. So I'm going to have to, of course, strip this paint off, and then I'm going to have to zinc plate it, which we'll see how that works. I've never seen a zinc plated Tootsie Toy. And then I'm going to uh, Spectra Flame it. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a first for me. I've never seen this done before. Uh, it might end up looking terrible. It's definitely not going to look authentic, but uh, I think it's going to look cool. So really, the first thing I have to do is uh, dip this in the stripper tank. Now I'm going to leave the axles on it. It'd be very difficult to remove them, and I see no reason to remove these axles. Uh, my stripper will not eat away at the wheels. So, um, here we go. And down it goes. See you in about an hour. Okay, I've stripped the paint off. There's still some in here, but that's, uh, I'm not going to spectra flame inside the cab. I'm going to do that in opaque white. So that's okay. Now, after I stripped off the paint, there are ton of casting issues. A lot of Tootsie Toys have really good castings and I like the detail in this one but there, there's a lot of problems with it. I have already um, sanded off on this side but I've got this area right here is really rough and corroded so I'm gonna have to sand that down. It's not gonna be a lot of body work on this but there's a little bit and uh, because this is going to be spectra flamed then uh, everything needs to be as perfect as possible. So I'm going to get all this corrosion off that I can and then we will zinc plate it. So next time you see this car it's going to be ready for the zinker. Okay the car is in the zinc plater. I never know how much to explain the zinc plating process because you know you may know a lot about it and be bored or you may know nothing about it and be interested. Uh, there's a lot of information on the internet about it but essentially we've got a zinc anode and you can kind of see it right there and our car, the zinc is on the positive terminal of a battery and the car is on the negative terminal of the battery and we have a solution that I've made up and it allows the, uh, the zinc molecules to flow from the anode to the car and it plates the car and uh, we'll shine it up and it's going to be super super shiny now this takes um, a little bit of time I'll do it in 15 minute increments, so I'll dip it in for 15 minutes and let it um, plate and then shine it up and then do it again and again and again until I decide that it's ready. This car is going to take a lot because it was it had no zinc to begin with. Okay, this is it all shined up. As you can see it is super shiny. It's, it's basically a mirror. You can see my hands in it. You can see the, the camera ring light if you look carefully. Looks super good. So. Um, Next, I'll just uh, put some Spectra Flame paint on this. And Spectra Flame paint, for those of you who don't know, is basically just a, um, a transparent paint. It's, it's like a tinted clear coat almost. And what it does is it allows the reflection of the, the zinc to shine through, and it looks like it's glowing. You might have noticed there that area with some pits that I just couldn't get out. If I sanded it too much more, I was concerned that we were going to actually go through the body. So, you know... This, this car is probably 60 years old, 50, 60 years old. So you got to expect a few little spots like that. It's still going to look great. It's going to look really great. It's going to look awesome. I can't wait. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some paint on it. Okay, this took a little bit more work than I was expecting, but it ends up looking really nice. As you can see, the Spectra Flame worked exactly like it does on the Hot Wheels. Look how shiny it is. You can actually see you know, my fingers in there. It is uh, pretty awesome. It's actually reflecting onto my 
my board down there. I also uh, painted the interior a cream color and then I touched up just a little bit of chrome pieces and put a chrome ring around it. Um, how I had to do it is I had to paint the center in here first and then I masked that off and painted the outside because I can't paint the Spectre Flame over any of that paint's over spill. So it was a little tricky, um, but ended up, it looks, looks really nice. Now, of course, any problems like all that pitting that was super deep back there, that's just how it's going to be. Can't fill it in. Okay, let's do a few, a few more little details and uh, we'll call this finished. One thing I do, do like is the, uh, the transparent. I just left the wheels on. I didn't mask them, so it painted. But because it is a, uh, I don't want to touch it with my marker. Ugh. But since it is a, a transparent color, all it did basically is gloss up those black wheels. Looks great. Made the axles red. Matches. I think that looks really nice. So I'm not going to do much here. Just the grill and the headlights. Got a few spots back here we can do this back bumper. Now I have uh, turned down my camera settings so it's really dark so you can see the interior here. It's nice with lots of details, but you really can't see the details too well. So I'm going to put a, a very soft light wash onto it and that's going to help pick up those details. Hopefully I won't ruin it here. And in case you're not familiar, a wash is just a very, very, very thin paint. And uh, you lightly brush it on and it will flow into the cracks and just kind of highlight the details. It really helps tie everything together. And if you overdo it in one spot, you can just kind of sop it up before the paint dries. After the paint dries, yeah, you're not much you can do about it. But before the paint dries, you can kind of sop it up. And that does it. So I'll change my camera settings back to a normal level. And that looks very nice. That wash helped a lot. All right. That pretty much finishes up with this car. I think the Spectra Flame on the Tootsie Toy was a good experiment. Don't know if I'll do it much more because it's uh, definitely not authentic or original. But man, it looks good. It looks really good. I wish you could see this in real life because the camera just does not do it justice. It is a, a beautiful, beautiful car. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I hope to see you on my next one. And no matter what the case, I hope you have a great day.